Joel and welcome back to the channel. Now, it, uh, it, it seems I've started a little bit of a disease amongst my closest of friends because, as you may have seen behind me, and you'll probably know from the title, my other close friend Charlie has bought an E89 Z4. Only a few months after Louis bought an E85 Z4, just like mine, Charlie has now gone and bought himself an E89, which is lovely, uh, but this is crazy because it's now Charlie, Louis and my dad all have Z4. So there's definitely some sort of disease going on. But anyway, this is a perfect opportunity then to show you guys the E89 Z4. This one being the 30i, so actually probably the most similar to my E85 sharing the same capacity engine. Anyway, I'm going to get off this bank now and uh, show you guys around the car before probably having a little go in it and telling you what I think about Charlie's brand new E89 Z4. So here it is, it's a 2009 30i S-Drive, like I said, so it's not the manual, it is the, the S-Drive. Um, 2009, 65,000 miles or thereabouts, and yeah, really nice, it's got some, I think they're aftermarket wheels, you don't see these, at least I haven't seen them on any 89s before, uh, they look really, really good. Um, I guess inside, it's actually not got the sat-nav option. Um, but it's got a cool little storage compartment in there. And yeah, you can see it's the old style uh, gear shifter or gear selector there. Also those all important paddles um, on the wheel there as well. Black car, obviously, black interior. And uh, yeah, it, it does look really good. Obviously this being the 30i, it doesn't have the sort of single pipes on each side like Ben's 35is has, which you may have seen on the channel before. It is twin pipes again, like my Z4, which happens to be over there. And uh, do you know what? It sounds similar to my stock Z4 too from following this earlier. So um, yeah, other than that really, I mean, this, there's not really too much to talk about. It's just kind of crazy that uh, yeah, another Another one of my closest friends has gone and has gone and bought a Z4. You could have had anything else, Charlie, but you went and bought a Z4. But you know, it is a really nice car, and I do really like these things. Anyway, I uh, shall stop chatting rubbish outside the car now, and I think it's probably best to jump in and see what it's like on the road. <laughs> we just tried to synchronize getting in, but Charlie's door is. Oh, you got it. Right. Cool. Uh, Charlie has very kindly. Here's Charlie. Welcome back to the channel, Charlie. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Um, he's very kindly. Let, uh, uh, he's going to allow me to drive it. So, um, this can be good fun. I've only driven the 35 IS, so this is a lot less powerful, and it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Anyway, cool. Let's. Uh, Get that one up and go for a little spin. What are you trying to do there, no, mate? Put it in get put your foot on the brake. Yeah, my well, foot's not on the brake, that's why. Oh, is that from the brake? Yeah, but to put it into drive, yeah. No, I didn't know that. So Charlie, how long have you had your lovely E8930i? I've had it three weeks now. Three weeks, and what how are you sort of how are you finding that three weeks so far? It's good. It's yeah. better it's um good on fuel compared to the Porsche. Slower than the oh, Porsche. Oh yeah, because you have a 996, 911, right? That's Carrera correct. Have you still got it? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Though. You are gonna sell it. Yes. That's, yeah, I mean, that's it's so different, isn't it? This must feel so refined compared to... No, you're just driving a rattly old Sorry? You're just driving a rattly old Porsche compared to this. Yeah, and that is, I mean, that is... Oh, we've got Bradley Wiggins coming down. <laughs> <laughs> They're like a cyclist around here on a Sunday. Um, so it's slower than the Porsche. Yeah, but it's. Um, but it does still, does still pick up nicely actually. And that gearbox is good. It's not bad. It does feel. It actually, looking at the speedo, it seems like it's faster than mine. But it's not, is it? Because we've no, had a little. No, we've had a little um, spirited drive. Yeah, we have. Yeah, next to each other. So yeah, I do. This automatic box is nice. It's not sluggish at all, is it? It's got the old shifter here, but I think it is still the DCT transmission. It might be someone probably correct you in the comments but so let's see uh sort of what it feels like if we put it into manual mode there into second gear do an acceleration 40 to 70 yeah i'd say it's probably about the same uh go past his stupid old jack <laughs> <laughs> And so it's only a six-speed transmission. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure the other ones are seven. Might be. Yeah. 
Well, maybe it's a single clutch, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't feel like it. It does feel quite good. Well, I don't know. Put it in normal, look. Now that's in normal transmission. Okay. Let me do like a... Yeah, if you do a rip, it'll be sluggish. It's weird, isn't it's it? It's like the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, that isn't great. No, but maybe it is a single well, clutch. When it's, when it's in sport mode, it's fine. It's weird. Interesting. Because when we had that little rip when I bought it, yeah. um, you had me, but it was because it was in normal mode. And then when we had it in Sport Plus later on. That made all the difference. Yeah, it was completely different. Okay. So, um, are there any things you plan on doing to this car while you have it? Um, don't crash it. That's number one. Well, I'm not planning. Oh, well, you're not planning on <laughs> crashing it. Well, that's, that's always a good thing, I suppose. Um, any modifications or anything like that? No, nah, not really. Maybe in. No, no, no. I was going to say an exhaust, but no. You should do an exhaust. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Well, um, oh, that's been an exciting video, guys. <laughs>
Uh, well, showing me your new car. It's That's really right. cool, I really like it. Uh, guys, if you want to see more of this car on the channel, hit subscribe because there shall be a drive video of sort of how this compares with my three litre E85 Z4 uh, on the channel soon. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get notified once that one goes live. But otherwise, again, thank you, Charlie. And uh, cheers, guys, for watching. And I will see you very, very soon. Ha, 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 ha.